And our second product is uh, called the Restore Soft Exosuit, which as we mentioned earlier, was launched in the summer of 2019. Uh, essentially what it is, is a fabric-based exosuit. So it's not gonna give you the structural um, kind of mass that a rigid exoskeleton would. It's fabric-based and it's designed for in-clinic rehabilitation for people with hemiparesis or hemiplegia due to stroke. Um, so it uses these cables uh, which run down the leg and they actually provide um, on-demand mechanical assistance to lift the, the patient's leg during plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. And it does so in synchronized timing with the patient's gait cycle. So the way that works, it looks almost like a kind of a marionette. Um, so you have cables which run down the patient's leg and they attach to uh, two points. They attach on a sleeve on the patient's calf as well as an insole inside the patient's shoe. And when those cables start to pull in synchronized timing with the gait cycle, they're gonna help to lift the heel up uh, in plantar flexion during paretic propulsion, but then they're also gonna pull on the forefoot to lift the forefoot up in dorsiflexion during ground clearance and heel strike. And this ability to deliver targeted assistance, particularly in the propulsion phase of the gait cycle, is one of the things that is really unique and exciting about Restore because it gives us a new tool to train coordination and timing of plantar flexion in a way that we really haven't been able to do before. And just to show you a couple of videos of what this looks like on patients, we're gonna pull up a couple of videos here. Um, and Jill, if you wanna talk through this one. Sure. Um, so the woman that we're seeing here, she is at an inpatient facility right now, status, pro status post stroke. It is about her third session with the Restore, and we see her here with the device on, but it is in what we call slack mode, which is just what it sounds like in that it is providing her no assistance whatsoever. So this is essentially her baseline walking right now. You can see a lot of trouble with her foot placement for her initial contact. There's really no heel strike happening there. A lot of medial lateral instability. What we're going to see here as we switch on the device so now we're in assist mode. The device is going to be helping to lift her toes and her heel. Okay, what that's going to do for us there is going to improve the ankle stability and the confidence for that foot placement. Confidence for the patient and for the therapist. We're going to see the level of assist that's needed is going to minimize by a lot. You'll see in a minute here. And just improved overall independence um, with the gait quality. Um, you'll see the speed definitely increases because of this newfound confidence as well. Able to navigate some changes there in terrain, as we can see there, all those little things that we take for granted through the doorway, all that type of stuff. Able to do with this device on after just a few visits training. And then this gentleman here, so this first video that we'll look at is his baseline. Okay, so in this video here, we're looking at him, um, he is, clearly not getting much of a push off, okay? That's the main thing we wanna focus here. He is letting that leg get into terminal stance a bit. It is getting behind him, but he is essentially just powering that leg up and through, not using any propulsive force on that left side. As a result, the therapists have had a hard time getting his intensity level up to where they want it to be. You can see he's on cardiac monitoring there. Um, this gentleman is inpatient as well, if I didn't say that. Um, and so they're just, they're sort of just cruising along pretty slowly here. He's having a hard time also with his initial contact angle. So the next video that we'll see um, in the next slide here is going to be the same gentleman, same session. And this is his first, his very first time utilizing the Restore, actually. So in assist mode, we see um, not only the obvious heel strike angle improvement there and just consistency, that's something that we consistently see is improved consistency with the foot positioning for patients, which just helps them to um, increase their confidence, their stepping cadence immediately. Um, so his motor control, his timing has improved. And something that we also love to see was also he was able to get his intensity levels up because his speed was able to increase. So his heart rate was able to get up into a safe training zone where he was able to hopefully make some neuroplastic changes just right there within that, within that session. Thanks for watching. This has been a highlighted clip from Rewalk's Topics in Neuro Rehabilitation web series. To watch the full episode, please visit the Rewalk Robotics YouTube page or follow the link in the comments below. Take care.